Hey folks, it's Mary, aka Mercy Triumphs, and this is Slow Crochet. Today is my very first installment of the hashtag Autumn Garland Cal 2024, and that means that throughout the month of October, on every Saturday, I will be uploading a video that features some patterns all free for you to enjoy, none of them that I came up with, but I've curated some free patterns of different autumnal elements from nature that we can crochet and then create a beautiful autumn themed garland to decorate our homes or just to kind of bring that outdoors in without necessarily bringing in the creepy crawlies that might come along with actual bits of nature. <laughs> can you hear the spider season in my voice? Anyhow, before I get started, I do wanna note a couple of different things. Number one, I did use a size E crochet hook. You can use any size that you want, whatever works with the yarn that you're working with. And I am using two different cakes of Lion Brand Mandala yarn. I believe one of them is called Banshee and the other is Dragon. So I'm pulling colors from those two yarns. They are classified as a three weight yarn, as a lightweight, like a DK weight yarn, but they are really on the lighter side of that. So they are kind of thin in my opinion. So that is why I went with the size of crochet hook that I chose. Also, for those of you who are in the Southern Hemisphere, I hear you, I see you, I know that y'all are launching into the middle of spring, and so I will have a couple of patterns just for you linked below that are more spring themed. They're not necessarily gonna be ones that I go over here in the main video, but if you're curious, or if you're curious in general, just what am I thinking about maybe a future spring garland, you can check the links that are in the description. And on that note, everything I mention in this video, again, will be linked in the description of this video. So let's get started. I chose three different acorn patterns and I'm gonna start with the smallest. The first acorn that I made is from a video tutorial here on YouTube from our favorite crocheting Canadian Jada and Stitches and she makes these adorable little acorns. I thought these were so sweet. Her tutorial was so simple and easy to follow and I just love the shape that it created. They're nice and pointed. You have the nice little cap there. And so this one I thought was really effective. She made them very small. I think she might've made them as like either decorations or earrings or maybe even like shawl pin kind of ideas. But I thought that that would be just perfect. It's a beautiful size for a garland. And even though I've just made this one as of the filming of this video, I do need to go back and make a few more because I think they are just wonderful. The next acorn that I made comes from a Yarnspirations pattern. So as with all things Crochet Crowd, when you find a video tutorial, there's always a link to a pattern, a free pattern from Yarnspirations. And so this comes from the Fall Fabulous Wreath. Now there are a lot of different elements in this wreath that you could use to make into a garland, not just a wreath, but I chose the acorn. And so you can see already that this, this acorn is a little bit bigger. It is a little bit rounder. But what I like about it is that just as in nature, there's so many different varieties of oak trees producing acorns, you're gonna get a variety of different sizes and shapes and even colors of acorns as you go throughout your walk in the woods and maybe encounter different types of trees. So the fact that this one is a little bit bigger, a little bit of a different shape, I think actually commends it to me. Very, very easy pattern to follow, beautifully done tutorial, and I will of course have those linked below. So that is my acorn number two. The third and fourth acorn that I made are actually both from the exact same pattern, only for one of them, I stopped at a certain point of rows, and for the other, I did the entirety of the pattern. So this pattern is from Love and Stitch Company, and it is autumnal acorns. And here is the main size, again, quite a bit bigger, but here is the smaller size. On this smaller one, I stopped at 16 stitches around, working from the bottom up, instead of the larger one where I just kept going and following the pattern entirely. One of the things I really appreciated about this pattern was that it's made all in one piece. So you do have to switch colors, 
but you don't have to sew on the extra cap. Now, granted, in the other pattern, sewing on a cap is not that big of a deal. It is a small thing, and so it's quickly accomplished. But I really liked that in these acorn patterns that there were some variety in, in being able to choose whether you have one that is sewn on or all one piece. I also really like the nice pointed shape to these. And I also felt too with these, there's a lot of flexibility with using your final color of yarn that you could stitch maybe some extra bumps or some extra interest or texture into the acorn or the acorn cap. You really do have a lot of flexibility in little pieces like this to make them naturalistic. And as we know in nature, nothing is ever perfect. Everything is just a little bit unique, has its own personality, has its own flavor. So those are my acorns for this week. I'm looking forward to, again, I do need to go back and make some more of these from Jada and Stitches, but I think these are gonna be a beautiful element in our autumn garland that we're creating. If you are participating with me, please do let me know what you think. You are free to make any or all or pick and choose. Again, I just wanted to highlight some patterns that were available out there as different takes on the same idea. If you are participating, not only let me know, tell me what is your favorite acorn. I know that I have one particular friend on YouTube that acorns are her little good luck charm of this year. So I'm thinking of you, Miss Ella, as I'm doing this video. She's linked below if you don't know her. <laughs> but of course you do, everyone knows Ella. All that to say, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I hope that I'll see you again here next week for part two of this crochet along. And if for whatever reason I'm not your cup of tea, thank you so much for listening this long. I really do appreciate you and I do hope I'll see you again soon. Bye.